Hi, I'm Amy Mozzie, and I'm with Centurion Boats. And today I'm here to tell you about the all new 2023 RI 245 from Centurion. This boat accommodates 16 passengers. It has about 5,650 pounds of ballast available in it. And it is amazing. It is definitely the evolution of a wake boat. And let's check out why. So let's get into this RI245. This boat is 24 and a half feet long. It accommodates 16 people. But what you see first is always the bow. That's what's coming towards you. And what you see on this bow is unlike any other. You've got docking lights that are standard on the RI245 and they are 4,800 ANSI lumens aside. What does that mean? It's bright. It'll light up any dock on in the darkest night and you can see exactly where you're going. But there's style built into those lights. They're not just there for function. They have a certain look. They've got custom gator step over the top of them. They have a brow that is made to go with the lines of this boat. And then when you move to the very tip of the bow, you've got the Centurion logo backlit. So you really know this is a Centurion RI245 coming at you. Not to mention the shape of the bow itself is a traditional V bow. So it's got that nostalgic type feel, but this bow is pretty high in the air. What I mean by that is you never have to worry about taking water over the bow or over the back for that matter. Even with as much as 5,650 pounds of ballast in this boat, you're always going to be dry, even those that choose to ride in the bow. So the bow of the RI245 is just the tip of the sword. But if that's the case, the profile is the cutting edge. This thing looks amazing. And it's got these sharp lines that work together in such a way that make a distinct profile for this boat. But it also has accessories and accents that really play in to the shape of the RI245. For instance, the PTM vents, they're two-tone and they are made to go with this boat. And you've got backlit emblems, naming, um, you've got a designator in the back that's also lit. So even at night, this thing stands out. The other thing I appreciate about this boat is the fact that it calls out right off the bat what it is. And it is a wake surfing machine. Check out the ram fill vent on the side. The reason we need a vent this big is because there's just over 2,500 pounds of subfloor ballast that fills in 90 seconds. The only way that can happen is if there's a vent that can let out all the air that's stored in those tanks so the water can be rammed into that system. And this new system is called ram fill 2.0 or ram fill squared. I call it the baller system. Why? Because it's actuated by four two inch stainless steel ball valves. These valves are typically reserved for high pressure fuel systems and uh, really high end systems of that nature. We put it into our ballast system because it's one of the most important systems in this RI245. You know, typically I wouldn't talk about the gas cap on the RI245, but I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the significance of why I stopped to talk about this particular feature. Number one, you may not realize this, but we have two gas fills, one on either side of the boat. And because you have to fill up the RI245 so infrequently, we wanna make it as convenient as possible when you do, because you're liable to forget what side the fuel fill is on. So we put it on both. So no matter what way you pull into the pumps, you can fill this 89 gallon tank because you're not gonna need to fill it that often. This boat, even fully loaded with ballast and people wake surfing, it burns anywhere between six and a half and seven gallons per hour. Yes, you heard me right. Six and a half and seven gallons per hour, an 89 gallon tank, you're not going to the pump very often. As we move behind the RI245, you start to get a little bit of a glare, uh, a lot of shine happening back here. It's because of all the polished stainless steel. And the first thing you encounter is this QuickSurf Pro blade, and it is super shiny, extra shiny for 2023. And we've added some cool accents to it, a wave with the warrior in it. So you know for a fact, this is a Centurion signature feature. But not only do we have the shine of the quick surf, 
you're going to put a shining smile on the faces of those that are behind this boat because of the waves that this thing makes. Now, the way the quick surf works is the plate opposite the surf side goes down. It creates lift opposite the surf side and essentially digs the surf corner or displaces more water on the surf corner, which is what creates that curl. Uh, now, our system, our surf system, quick surf, is based on lift. It's not dragging anything in the water. What creates the displacement or the mound of water that gets converted to a wave is the ballast. So this hull is displaced. It creates that mound of water out the back of the boat, and then the quick surf plate switches the wave from side to side. So when you want to surf right, you hit surf right on the dash and the plates adjust. When you want to transfer, you hit surf left, the plates adjust again. It's that fast, it's that simple, and it's that super great of a surf wave. So we've got even more bling on the back of this boat. And it's, it's very functional bling, let's just put it that way. You've got the available silent stinger wake plate. What that is, is a wake plate that adjusts the running attitude of the boat, which I'm sure many of you are familiar with, oftentimes called a trim tab. What is unique about the silent stinger, and it is patented by Centurion, is that it also baffles the noise of the engine. So it makes the interior of the boat quieter. So much so that you're looking at about noise levels of somewhere around 75 decibels at the passenger, which is about the level of a kitchen dishwasher. It's extremely quiet. And how that happens with this plate is water is forced into the bottom of it. It tumbles with the exhaust of the engine through a series of baffles that are built into the plate. What that does is dampen the noise and then the water exits out these ports in the back. What it also does is it disrupts that line that can sometimes go through your surf wave caused by the exhaust. So not only do you get that smoother wave, you get that smoother experience on the interior of the boat because you can have a normal noise level conversation with the people inside, even though you're making big waves out the back. One of the RI245's optional elements that I absolutely love, and it could just be a mom thing, is the swim step ladder. I love this because these boats are pretty tall. And unless they're weighted for surfing, it's a little more difficult for someone, I'm gonna say my age, we're not gonna talk about what that is, to get onto this swim step gracefully. So I like the ladder. <laughs> this helps me out a ton. I can get on and look good doing it. Um, the optional ladder is something I always check when I'm specking out an RI245. So once I finally get up onto the swim step of the RI245 with the help of that trusty ladder, I start to understand there's a lot more going on back here than just the sun pad of the boat. I've got a lot of cool stuff. I've got cup holders. I've got a place to sit. I've got a place to store my shoes. I've also got a really cool place to lounge, which is right here. Oh, so. I can hang out, be comfy, kids are swimming. There's no better place to be. So you notice that the exterior of this RI245 is stone gray. Kind of looks like smoke. Well, there's smoke, there's fire. And then you get onto the interior. This red interior is beautiful. It's as beautiful as it is comfortable. But also my path on the way into the boat is pretty secure because I've got a walk over on the transom. I've got a step down, a tooled in step down seat here. So I don't have to step onto this beautiful red upholstery. It's fiery, but uh, beautiful and functional and resilient. So the interior of the RI245, this one in particular, it looks hot but it doesn't feel hot, and I'll tell you why. It's because of the vinyl that we use on this interior. It's made by Spradling, and this particular scheme of vinyl is the all-hex vinyl. What that means is even the darker red color and the gray have a texture to them, and it's in a hexagon shape is the texture, but what it really means to you is cool 
Because there's a texture to this vinyl, it has more surface area and it dissipates heat faster. So even this dark red stays 15 degrees cooler than a darker color in a flat vinyl. So it looks hot, it doesn't feel hot, but it is definitely resilient. So this vinyl has a 17 mil top coat on it. What that means to you is not really something you can see or feel, but it guards this vinyl against things like UV rays, acid rain, it protects it, and it makes sure that it lasts for a long time. They also have thread that they use to stitch this vinyl together, and it's called Gore Tenera thread. And if that sounds familiar, it's because it's made by Gore-Tex. So the thread is as durable, if not even more durable, than the vinyl itself. What that means is this vinyl is going to last, whether you're walking on it with shoes on or cleaning it with chemicals, it is going to stand the test of time and it's very comfortable. It's also beautiful. This red is gorgeous, but there's 12 other colors that you can choose and you can put them in four different areas on this interior. We're a custom boat manufacturer at Centurion, so you, if you can think it, we can normally make it, especially on the interior of your boat. When we're talking about customizing your RI245, especially on the inside, we've got to talk about the Gator Step flooring schemes. There's six different schemes that you can get on the floor in the Gator Step non-skid. And this particular scheme is called the Warrior. The Warrior has three different levels of Gator Step or layers of Gator Step. It makes it very cushy to stand on, but you can customize each one of those three layers with 15 different color choices. So in this particular case, we've got silver cloud on top, we've got red in the middle, and I think they call it cardinal red. And then on the very bottom, we have what we call shark fin, which is a little bit darker gray. Then you've got the color of the floor itself, and this can be completely customized. You can make this floor look almost any way you want. This is beautiful and it goes with this interior and um, I think I'd take it. I like this one. So I'm, I'm gonna fully admit that this is another favorite feature of mine, but it's, it's totally a mom favorite feature. Why? Because this is the access for the trash can. And I love it because my kids know exactly where to put the trash and it doesn't end up on the floor or in a seat cushion and uh, it's out of sight and out of mind. And it's easy to refill or empty out right through here. I've also got a couple cup holders. So as I'm lounging on this lean back and somebody needs to throw something away, I've got direct control over it as well. So we've talked about the beauty of the interior, how resilient it is how versatile it is. It's also very storage friendly, super functional. So here I've got shocked hinged seats and underneath every single one of these seats in the lounge, there's storage. I can store a lot of stuff and I can get to it easily, which is what I love about it. The interior of the RI245 can accommodate as many as 16 people. But because the interior is so versatile, you can really have them sit anywhere you want. One of the things that I love about this interior is I can take this four position slide seat, which normally resides in the back here, and slide it all the way up front, especially if I want to hang out with the, the driver or the passenger. Maybe we want to throw the wind block in, throw the heater on, or I just want to face forward as we're going down the lake, I can do that just like this and it's comfy. So this is one of those versatile features that I can put both of the lean backs in, which are optional. You don't have to have them in at the same time. I can put them facing forward. I can also put them on this side facing backwards so I can watch the rider in tow. The other thing I can do is sit here facing the other way. Or I can face this way and this person can face that way. It's, it's all up to you. This interior is so versatile. You've got rear facing lean backs on either side and you've got this slide seat. You can sit wherever you want and be comfortable doing it. So another custom element of the Centurion RI245 is the side panel. The side panel where you've got five cup holders and a couple speakers. You've got the backlit PTM Centurion emblem. You've got a lot going on here. You can also choose between 37 different gel coat colors on this side panel. Yes, I said 37. In fact, between 
the 37 gel coat colors that you can choose from, the 12 different vinyl colors, the different schemes, the 15 different flooring colors on every layer. We've got about 24 billion color options <laughs> or unique color configurations on an RI245. And I'm not kidding. Literally, if you took into account all of the different color choices that you have on this particular boat, it comes out to 24 billion unique combinations. Yeah, I was bored one night and came up with that. But um, really, the math works out, I swear. You can make this boat any way you want it to look, and there may not be another one out there like it. So I know I boarded this RI245 from the swim step, but a lot of people will board from the side of the boat, right about here, especially when you're pulled up to a dock. And something that's a little, I don't know, maybe a little thing, to me means a lot. And that's the width of this gunnel. So the gunnel is what we call the side of the boat. And this top deck, the width of this is deliberate. And it actually means a lot. So when I'm stepping onto this from the dock, I've got a nice wide flat spot for my foot to go. And it doesn't seem like a lot, but this was thought of by our engineers because they use the boats with their families and they wanna build a boat that they wanna own. The Drop Zone Auto Tower by Roswell is standard on the Centurion RI series and the RI245. What the Auto Tower offers is a lot of function. It's an extremely stable tower. When it is up, it utilizes a patented cam latch mechanism that locks the tower down onto its base so there is no shaking, there's no rattle, it is a sturdy tower but it also actuates or goes up and down with a linear actuator. So it'll go down in 14 seconds with the press of a button at the tower and up in 17. So if you need to clear a low bridge, if you have storage restrictions with limited headroom, you can collapse this tower very easily. That's the function part of it, but it's also beautiful and customizable because of course it's a Centurion element. So you've got two different accent colors you can add to this particular tower shield and you can pick between 37 different gel coat colors on each one of those accents. So you've got the ability to customize the look of the tower. You can also have it in black or white. So it's functional, it's customizable, it's beautiful, and it's extremely strong. So the Roswell Auto Tower the drop zone as we call it, it has a lot of features built into it. You can see you've got hangers up here for life vests and ropes. I've got toe points on either side of the tower as well as in the center. Those are utilized typically when you're trying to bring up a newer rider to surfing. You can keep the rider outside of the wave so they don't have to come back over that big wall of water and get into the wave. It makes it a lot easier to start, especially when you're just learning. You've also got a water drop extrusion. That's the way this tower is built. So if you've ever seen a typical wakeboard tower, it's typically a round tube. This is a water drop shape. What that gives you is a little bit of style, a little bit of extra style, but it also gives you a lot of strength. So you can see that along the back side and the front side of the tower. You've also got lighting built into the tower and you've got some handles at the back here that allow you to hold on in case somebody uh, at the helm is driving a little crazy. You've got somewhere to hold on to. But this tower also has a number of options that are available on it. You can see a lot of them here. So we've got the Warrior Sound System by Wet Sounds. This is a stereo system unlike any other. It might as well be a custom system because of the amount of speakers it has. It's available with two subwoofers. You can see it's got six speakers in the tower itself. I've got two 10 inch horns on either side. I've got eights that are shooting down onto the interior. Then I've got another eight speakers on the interior of the boat, not to mention those two subwoofers. You can have one subwoofer if you want, a lot of people, if they're going with the Warrior system, they're gonna get that second subwoofer. And then this thing rocks. You've also got your custom gator step that's on the floor of the boat. It goes up into the tower on the Warrior speaker enclosures as well. That's all optional, but definitely something to check out when you're looking at customizing your drop zone tower. You've also got the available So Long Bimini. We call it So Long because it is so long. It covers almost the entire interior 
of the RI245, which again is a 24 and a half foot boat. So you're always in the shade, even on this big lounge. One of the other amazing new options on the Drop Zone Auto Tower for 2023 is the new Bombshell 2.0 racks. But I know you're asking yourself, wait a second, weren't they called Bombshell 2.0s last year? They were, and the rack itself is very similar. It's still got all of the cushy places for your boards to sit. It still has the toe setting, which means the rack goes all the way back so you don't have to worry about getting a bunch of bugs on it. It'll accommodate as much as a 23 inch surfboard, 23 inches wide, and it accommodates it very nicely. It doesn't uh, put any pressure points on the board. It's not gonna dent that brand new board that you just got. And it's adjustable. It's also got some hangers built into it. You have optional flag poles and holders. Uh, you've got just about everything you can think of. But what's new for this year? Colors. You guessed it. We added another custom color option to the RI245. We have, I think it's eight different colors available on this rack. You can get it in the brushed, finish, then you can choose the different colors you'd like. And there's seven other colors you can get, one of which is stone gray, which matches perfectly with this all stone gray boat. Well, there's room for 16 people on the interior of the RI245, but there's only room for number one right here. And that's the driver's seat. The driver's area is awesome. The driver's seat itself is really awesome. It's super comfortable. And this one is a six way adjustable driver's seat. Now this is an option in the RI245, but it allows you to go up, down, tilt forward, tilt back, move forward and move back all with the press of a button at your right hand side. It's very easy to move and uh, it makes for nice adjustments, small adjustments so you can get it to just the right spot where you're comfortable. But it's also a high back seat, which I like. It gives a lot of support, but when I wanna swivel around, I can. Or if I wanna keep the seat facing forward and just kinda lounge a little bit, get comfortable. I've got the ability to do that with the way this seat is designed. But now that I'm facing forward, I've got a lot going on right here with the dash. Um, one of the things that I appreciate most about the Centurion dash in general are the sport shifters, which are here at my left and right hand. On my right side, I can control my cruise. On my left side, I can control the position of my stinger wake plate, or in this case, it's a silent stinger. So that changes the running attitude of the boat. This is nice because I never have to take my eyes off the water and I can simply reach out with a couple fingers and pull the lever towards me of what I want to adjust. It's easy to do, I can feel my way through it and I don't have to divert my attention at all. I've always got control. The other thing I love about this dash is the Revo screens. These are 12 by 12 inch screens. They're huge. They show me everything I need to see at a glance. I don't have to search for things. There's also touch screens, so I can control a lot even in the screens themselves. I've also got nice intuitive navigation on either side of the screen. So I can go from my home button to my ballast, my wave setting for my quick surf, my lighting, my stereo very easily. And really, I don't have to take my eyes off the water very long to make those movements. But let's talk a little bit about this little screen over here. This is the Rove, the range of view system in the boat. And what it allows me to do is see what is in front of the boat through my bow camera, what is behind the boat through my transom camera. And I can also keep track of all of my fuel usage information, which tells me how much fuel I've used, how much time I've been in the boat, what's my average uses of fuel, how many gallons per hour, and how long of a distance I've gone. All of that information I can see right here. And normally it's really comforting information to see in a Centurion boat because I'm not using very much fuel. Even when I'm fully loaded with ballast and we're surfing, the engine is running anywhere between 2,500 and 2,800 RPM, and I'm using anywhere from six and a half to maybe a little over seven gallons per hour. And with an 89 gallon fuel tank, that means I'm riding for days at a time without going back to get more fuel. I love seeing that in this boat, but I can see everything else as well. And I've got a great spot for my phone. This wireless clamping 
charging cell phone holder is always right here and I've always got my phone within eyeshot. So we've gone through just about everything in the driver's area. However, I can also be a gracious host from this area. How might you ask? Well, I can offer drinks to my passenger and they've got easy access to the ice chest that's built into the floor here and they've also got a pretty cool place to sit. They've got access to cup holders over there. They've got a glove box. There's, um, there's a lot going on up here in the helm, but all of it is comfortable and fun. So there's a lot of control through these screens, the touch screens, control with my phone, but the real control, the hands-on stuff, it's right here with this new Goosey Italia steering wheel and this Lavorsi throttle. This gives me the hands-on control that I need to drive this boat and believe me, it's easy to do. So we have comfort, accommodation, and security. Right here, we've got a locking glove box that also looks really cool because it's got the backlit Centurion logo in it. And it's all made by PTM or Protomat. And it's got the two-tone signature look that you'll see on the exterior vents of the boat as well. It's all made to go together. And I gotta say, it's beautiful. All right, we've made a round trip around this 2023 Centurion RI245. So we're going back to where we started from, the bow, the front of the boat, one of my favorite places to be. And you'll notice that in the RI245, you have a walk-through bow. What that means is just what you think it means. I walk right through to the bow. And this thing is huge. Right now it's set up in a playpen style, so we have this filler cushion, which is optional, and you can pretty much make the whole bow a little lounge, or I can take this filler cushion out and have room for legs here. I can also use this underneath part for storage. If you've got anything to put under there, there's a big spot to put it. You've also got ballast bags that are available and underneath these seats in the front. It's a U-shaped bag if you opt for that and more ballast weight to customize your wave or wake from here. I've also got optional uh, speakers that I can hear beautiful music with and I've got power points so I can charge my phone from up here. I got cup holders, I've got handles to hold on in case the driver is uh, doing some bat turns. But either way, this is a great and fun place to be in the boat. It's beautiful, it's comfortable, but also it's one of those places where I can relax. I don't have to worry about it being a rough ride up here all because of the OptiV hull. And I'm never gonna have to worry about getting wet because this bow is made to divert water and not to take it on. So the bow is my favorite spot, gotta say. Thanks for walking through the all new 2023 RI245 with me today. This is definitely the evolution of a wake boat. The customizable features on this boat, not to mention the surf performance, the wakeboarding performance, and the amazing rough water ride. But don't take my word for it. You visit your nearest Centurion Boats dealer and check out this evolution for yourself.